Hey y'all, welcome to Hippie Chick. We're cooking. It's just a flick of a wrist, so let's get started. Thank you all so much for watching my channel. If y'all are enjoying my channels, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be reminded of when I upload new videos. Now, today we are making neck bones. And our ingredients are one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm sorry, this is a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Yes, a half a teaspoon of black pepper because this uh, black pepper is really potent, y'all. But if it, if it wasn't so potent, I would definitely go in uh, with the one teaspoon. Okay, and this right here is one teaspoon of salt. Okay, so um, I have uh, my neck bones here, over here in this sink, and I have them draining in a colander. So I'm going to get them and just bring them over here. Okay? Now here are my neck bones. These neck bones have already been cleaned. Okay? Now, I have my pot on here, but I only have just a little bit of water in it. Just because I wanted to turn this burner on to go ahead and get it heating up because, um, you know, it takes a little while, you know, for it to go ahead and heat up. So, um, that's what I have in here. And you see, it's just a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, add these neck bones to this bowl here, to this, um, to this pot here, y'all. And this is just a, a family pack of the neck bones. Now, my husband wanted me to prepare these neck bones um, over in some collards, but um, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do that, and I've just decided I, I really don't want to do that. I, that. When I make collards, that's just not the way I like to make them. Um, they're good this way because I have had them this way before, you know, when I make them for him, but that's just not the way, y'all, that I want to make my collards today. So, I'm just going to cook the neck bones and then um, cook the collard separately um, in a different pot. So, um, but you can combine them, but I just don't, I don't like to do that. Okay, so now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some water here. And what I'm going to do, y'all, I am going to let the neck bones come to a boil and pour off all that water and kind of rinse it off a little bit and then add in fresh water and then I'll go ahead and start cooking them. So this is what this water here is for y'all. Have you ever cooked the neck bones and all that stuff comes up off the neck bones and it um, collects around um, the edge of your, your pot? So that's what I'm trying to uh, to get off. I'm trying to rid, get rid of that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and crank it on up to like high, just so it'll kind of start boil, uh, getting a boil, y'all. And then um, I am going to, like I said, rinse these off, okay? And that's just how I'm going to do that. And then, um, so what I can do, y'all, I can just go ahead and go off and let this come on to a boil and let it do its thing, okay? And um, after it has boiled, started to boil, just a good boil, y'all, okay? A good boil. And um, then I'll, you know, pour the excess water off. So I guess I can come back on and let y'all see that process. That would be kind of nice, right? So um, I'll come back on once this um, go ahead and boil. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys back in a minute. Hey, y'all, I am back. All right, so our um, neck bones are boiling really well. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about 
um, when I say all that stuff that kind of boils up, I'm not sure what it's called, but um, I want to show that to you all. So I think what I'll do is just bring the pot um, over to y'all. Okay, can y'all see down in there? See all this stuff here? That's some boiled up off those neck bones? That's what um, I'm talking about. Um, let me get a spoon or something to kind of show you for just in case y'all can't see that. Let me show you. This is the stuff that I'm talking about. See that? Okay. So, what I'm going to do, y'all, trying to get a paper plate here just to get this on. Okay. So, I'm going to go and pour this out over here in the colander. I've cleaned this colander. Okay, I cleaned my colander and put it back over here in the sink. So I'm just going to rinse the pot out, y'all, as well. Then I'm going to rinse these off, cold water, just a gentle rinse, nothing extravagant, just and there we have it, okay? And now, I'm just going to pour them back over into the bowl here, into the pot. Here we go. And now I'm going to fill it with water. And at this point, you can use hot water. I'm going to go in and clean my sink out real good. Okay. Enough to cover um, your neck bones. Okay. And now, I'm going to put it back on. And at this point, y'all, I am going to go ahead and add in my seasonings. Yes, 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 yes. And y'all, by the way, I, I took out an onion uh, because um, I decided that I was just going to do the, the neck bones um, in a pot to themselves as opposed to adding the neck bones over into the greens, okay? So, since I'm going to just um, have a pot of the neck bones, I am going to cut up an onion later on and add it to the, um, to the neck bones. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my garlic powder. My black pepper. Stand back, y'all. I don't have my filling pan on, but still that stuff when you get to pouring and stuff. Okay, and I didn't put too much salt, y'all. Um, so, and there we have it. I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I am going to turn it down and let it cook on maybe number, maybe number seven, between five and seven y'all, okay? So, um, and I'm going to let this cook for about, maybe about two hours y'all, maybe about two hours. It may take about two hours to cook, okay? Um, I know it won't be cooked within an hour, 
all right? So at that point, um, I'll be gauging it to make certain that it is done. And how you know it's done, okay, when it's nice and tender, okay? So I'm just going to let this come to a boil. And then I'm going to put my lid on, y'all, after it comes to a boil. And I'm going to leave my lid open just a little bit because this lid doesn't have a little hole or anything for venting. So I don't want it to boil over because I do have it covered really high. Um, so I just want to kind of leave it, um, you know, tilt it just a little bit off so that um, that the steam can come out and that it won't um, spill over. So, and that's why I'm going to do that. But I'm going to take that off for now. And I have it on high and I'm going to let it come to a boil, y'all. And that will be it as far as... Um, you know, letting that cook and let it do its thing, okay? So, um, at this point, um, well, I guess I can leave this stuff up here. I got some more stuff I got to cook, y'all. I'll be doing another video because, like I said, my husband wants them collards, so, um, that's going to be a separate video. So, I'll do that, um, as soon as I'm, um, you know, um, done with this video. So, you guys, I tell you what, um, I'll go ahead and I guess I'll go ahead and end this video at this point. Um, because I don't, you don't have to see that part as far as it's starting to boil. When it starts to boil, you just put the lid on it, right? Okay. <laughs> so, you guys, anyway, um, I'll see you guys back um, maybe uh, midway through. Maybe I'll let you guys come back in, take a look at it or something like that. Or I may just wait to the end, y'all. All right, I'll see y'all back in a little bit. Bye. Hey, y'all. I just want to come on real quick and just kind of show you all what I was talking about when I had mentioned that I want to leave the lid off a little bit. You see how I have it um, open just a little bit there? Um, that's just all you need, just a little bit, just so that um, that steam can escape, y'all. And also to keep um, the water from spilling over, all right? And another thing I wanted to mention, y'all, is that uh, from time to time, you want to just kind of, you know, take a look at it. And you want to make sure that um, it has enough water in it. You don't want the water um, to dry up, okay? So you want to keep your, your neck bones covered in water, okay? All right, you guys, I just want to come on real quick and just say that bit and show you all what it is that I was talking about. And um, the next time I come on, y'all, I'll probably um, be nearing the end of the video. All right, y'all, I'll see y'all back in a little bit. Hey, y'all, I am back. Okay, so we have about a good 14 minutes left on our... Um, on our um, neck bones, okay? And so what, Adam, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna add in a little bit of cornstarch just to thicken up um, that broth, that juice in there um, of the, that's on the neck bones. And I, I turn the water on, I have, a, um, I have it on hot, so I'm just gonna, Just kind of stir up, um, use my uh, wire whisk here, and mix up this cornstarch and water, just a little bit of water. And I'm going to uh, pour it over into my pot here. Okay, and I put in about a tablespoon, y'all, of this cornstarch. And hopefully that'll be enough to thicken it up. And if it's not, I know how to go back in and add more. So we're going to um, start it off there. And um, I'm going to continue to let that cook. And I have an onion here that I've already peeled. Okay. And I decided to um, add an onion to this. And I'm just going to kind of slice it here. My daughter doesn't like onions. And then that way... It's still large enough that she can pick off. Pull it back a little bit just in case you can't see there. 
got my camera angle um, differently, so um, got it set up in a different location. So hopefully um, this is going to work for us. I'll see once I go through the videos later on to see how the, how it's looking on um, you know once I do my editing. Okay. song y'all just get it back to boiling really good okay and I'm, I like to season my onions I don't know what it is but um to me they just taste better when they're seasoned Bowl. 
me see if y'all can see it. Okay. I didn't touch anything. I was just taking a look at my camera. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of try and spoon these out, y'all. Y'all want to see what it looks like over in the pot? Let's see if I can show y'all. Out, y'all. Try not to make too much of a mess here. I'm using my slotted spoon, y'all, because I don't want to put, um, you know, too much liquid over into my bowl because then when I get ready to do my thumbnails, then you can't see um, the meat for all that liquid. So I'm just going to spoon it out like this um, with a slotted spoon, and then I'll just um, take my other spoon and pour a little bit of that liquid over. Oh, it's hot. Super, super tender. So tender. Let me show y'all, but just in case um, y'all are wondering. See how tender that is? You're just breaking with the spoon. See that? Tender, right? Now some of this is just the bones, like where it's done boiled off the bone. So now I'm just going to take and put some of these onions over the top here. And spoon some of this liquid in there. But y'all see how it's looking? Okay. how nice and um it's not too thick but it's definitely thicker than it was y'all makes like a gravy and i am cooking collards with this but again um my husband wanted me to cook it over in the green, so I don't like to cook the neck bones over in the green like that. Green like that. Um, I do it for him sometimes, but and then at other times I just I just don't want to do it. So I decided not to do it. I had said I was going to do it since it's close to Christmas time or whatever, um, but I decided not to. I'm getting him a Christmas gift. He'll be all right. <laughs> He'll be all right, y'all. So, okay, this is the finished product, y'all, of the um, the neck bones. All right. Now, how many of you all like neck bones? Have you cooked them before? Have you seen them before? Um, there you have it. All right, I put it here. All right, you guys. So, um, this is the um. The finished products of the neck bones. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if y'all are liking my videos, y'all please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be reminded of when I upload new videos. Hit the like button. Share my videos out, you all, um, on social media. I um, hope y'all are checking out my shorts. Um, 
Um, I've been uploading a lot of shorts and stuff of my um, uh, videos. Um, I'm going to try and get a little bit better with that and try and give you guys some actual footage um, in my shorts. But it's taking a little bit of time for me to kind of, you know, do all that. I'm still kind of new to this and just trying to, you know, get a hang of things, y'all. So um, hopefully, um, you know, if the Lord's will, I can continue on with this YouTube journey and I can try and improve upon it and just um, make things better and, you know, give you all something that you guys are going to really enjoy. All right. Thank you all so much. You all have a wonderful and blessed evening, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.